Hey, hi. <laughs> hi, Mona. This is another chit chat. So after the last video I made, like, I was like, all right, no more of this stuff. Let's just go for a walk. We're going to enjoy. So we went on a nice long walk and stuff. But I couldn't stop thinking about the witchy thing, right? Because, yeah, it was made up word to make people seem like, uh, you know, uh, derogatory, right? Derogatory is... Here. Let's, let's do the exact definition, right? Uh, derogatory, D-E, I think. Okay, Q-R-S. Oh, look, I found the page that says devilish. <laughs> So look, oh yeah, derogatory. Here's the definition of that. Intended to lower the reputation of a person or thing, right? Contemptuous, degrading, disdain, disdainful, scornful, uncomplimentary, also defam defamatory, insulting, libellous, mali maligning, slandering, slanderous. So yeah, okay, <laughs> we all get the picture, right? So I was thinking that yes, I made a word, but you know what? That doesn't mean a whole bunch of people aren't going to run with it. That doesn't mean a whole bunch of people are going to be like, oh, I like that word. I'm going to use, you know, because, yeah. Back in the day, people didn't want to be considered witches because it was a, a bad statement on them and they could die. Right. But nowadays, because things are more accepted, freedom of religion, freedom of, you know, people are, are inviting that derogatory word into their life okay so i know i wasn't gonna think about anything anymore today but what i was thinking about all that so when i came back and i'm like you know what let me look some stuff up <laughs> so i did and like i said the word witch is a derogatory statement right and, and you know people do want to consider themselves witches or do witchcraft, right? But these are the things that are involved in witchcraft, the dark kind, I guess you want to call it. So it's people who gain from others pain, people who do that. That could be considered a dark side of witchcraft, those who, you know, find comfort in other people's pain, right? Bullies. Bullies. That's considered, you know, something not nice. Right. Um, spreading fear. You know, making others fearful. Right. Any kind of negative intentions, you know, like lighting candles or whatever and thinking evil stuff when you do it you know i like candles but i don't think evil stuff you know i don't do that you know evil thoughts to another you can think of a person real hard and just think evil stuff and you know and send it out into the universe now that's a bad thing to do because if you are doing that and somebody is like a true believer of god and all that stuff it's just gonna bounce off and go back so i wouldn't suggest you do that Wishing ill will on others, hoping that somebody fails or hoping that somebody does bad. That's a form of witchcraft. Oh, okay. Light, lighting candles with evil thoughts. Yeah. Uh, slander. Slandering another person's name. That's a form of witchcraft. That's an evil towards another person, right? Yeah. Lying, cheating, stealing, and having bad habits. Drinking, alcohol, party, you know, disrespecting your body, things like that. That's evil stuff. Yeah. So, I mean, anyone who does that kind of stuff, yeah, that's evil stuff. 
that could be considered like a witchcraft thing nowadays, right? Because back then they were just making shit up, right? But nowadays, yeah, you can put intentions, evil intentions out. And if the other person is not very strong in their faith or whatever, then yeah, maybe there could be an effect from it, you know, causing someone to feel paranoia and all these things, you know? So that's, that's like, that can be considered like bad witch, I guess, you know? And then I was thinking, well, you know, which, which is such a bad word, derogatory word, you know? And like I said previously, like, I don't never consider myself witch because why would I want somebody, why would I want to be called some, something that's derogatory or mean? I don't want to be called that. You might as well call me witch, but replace the W with a B. B. <laughs> I almost said it, right? Same thing. So think about that. So then I was thinking, well, what about these other people who do now? And I said for myself, I never consider myself witch or witchy. I consider myself more like a naturalist, you know, why? And I'm going to say these things. Like if you were like, especially if you think you're the white witch, it's a bad word. I'm telling you, you don't need that word in your life because it's a derogatory word. So I would like to think of myself as a naturalist. Maybe somebody has another thing like earth lover or whatever, you know. These kind of people, we, we respect the earth. We respect ourselves. We don't judge, right? We're kind and we're compassionate. Um, we don't want to hurt anyone. I don't want to hurt anyone. I don't even like to hurt bugs. Like, I'm like, really, like, I don't want to hurt anyone. We like to spread love and forgive others. Yeah. We have good habits, right? We're kind, we're friendly, we respect our bodies, we eat well, you know, we, you know? We help people. Right? You see someone in trouble, you try to help them or something like that. And then, you know, I was also thinking that's right. So also maybe you can consider self pagan, right? Because they follow a different way. Let's, let's look up pagan. Let's look up pagan real quick. Just to see. Because there's like pagan Bible and pig, you know, it's, it's different though. It's not. An unconverted member of the people or nation that does not acknowledge the God of the Bible. So it could be, you know, it could be like persons that are with the earth and all that stuff. Me, I, I believe in God. Don't, let's not get that twisted. <laughs> All right, let's not get that twisted. But, you know, there's some people that, you know, they believe, you know, the earthly stuff and all that stuff. And that's, you know, that's cool. You know, maybe they will figure something for themselves later. Oh, my little greenie fell off the table because the wind's blowing out there. It's okay. So, I mean, maybe you can think of that way. You know, oh, look. Heathen. Ooh, now they're calling that a heathen. And you know what? That doesn't sound like a good word. Let's look up he heathen because you know they don't they didn't put any uh, thesaurus stuff for that. Heathen. I'm telling you, it can run you off in all kinds of directions. <laughs> heathen. Here we go, heathen. Of or relating to heathens, their religious or their customs, not civilized. Already calling people uncivilized. Now I want to remind you of something because I said it in the last video. You know, the Protestant people before, 
they were not considered equivalent to the the Catholics because they were not rich. Yeah, they weren't rich. They didn't base their lives on being rich or having riches, no. And this is why they were punished. Because they couldn't pay these these tithes or teeths, whatever they call those, to the Catholic Church. And then they were going to be judged because they couldn't pay. But they can't help it. They were not rich. They could not give that much because they were not rich. Almost like the Catholic people, uh, only they could be saved because they could donate and they could give to the church. And they, that's not God's way. And that's not what Jesus was trying to teach. It doesn't matter how much money you have, a lot or a little or none, whatever. As long as you believe in God, you pray to God, you ask for forgiveness, you be kind to others, you do all the good stuff, you're, you're safe. You're safe. Safe. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, like that. But the church is so money driven that you know, so, so yeah, I wanted to add that. I don't know about the pagan thing, but if you believe in God and mother earth and all that stuff, I mean, I like, I'm cool with mother earth. I'm cool with God. I'm cool with Jesus. I'm cool with all that stuff. I just think that people got things mixed up and, uh, and how people run with things, you know, the derogatory words and the, the terrible, yeah, people can wish ill on you and things can happen, you know, but if you are a true believer in your faith and whatever you got going on, you don't got nothing to worry about. I don't, I don't worry about that stuff. I feel like God got me. You know what I mean? I don't. And I've been praying to God and all this and all kind of good stuff happening for me. So yeah, you know. So that's, I just wanted to explain some sort of differences, you know, if you are somebody and you think you're like a witch, but like maybe a good witch. No, you're not a witch at all. That's a bad word. It's a derogatory statement. You're putting yourself down. Don't do that. Don't put yourself down. That's what that is. Why would you call yourself that? You're putting yourself down. There's got to be another better word. We got to come up with a better word than that. Right? I wouldn't know what that word would be, but maybe someone else can, maybe somebody can put some ideas down there. Someone who's not going to be malicious or slanderous or mean or nasty. Because we know what side you're on if you are like that. <laughs> you're going to tell on yourself. But there's better, better words out there. I like naturalist, you know, because it's not like heathen either. You know, heathen is a bad word. Pagan is a bad word. Uh, pa there's defining pagan is a bad word because of people who believe in the earth and, you know, things like that. I think I mentioned before, like the Buddhists, Buddhism for Buddhism, they strive to be like Jesus, but they don't believe in God. So the, the way Jesus was, his character, like kind, giving, forgiving, loving, this, that, and the other, respectful, whatever. They believe in that part of him to be like him. You know, they just, but everybody got their own thing. You, We shouldn't judge. It's okay. Let them do their thing and, you know, you do your thing and just don't be mean. Be kind. Try to help people, you know, help those who are less fortunate if you can, you know, a little bit. Try to motivate, motivate people to do better in their lives and be kind and, you know, you're going to be okay. So that's all I have. I know I said I wasn't going to do it anymore today, but I couldn't help myself, you know, because when you go on these walks and you're in silence and you start thinking about stuff, you know, because that's the whole thing. You can read the Bible, you can read stuff, but if you don't think about it and really understand what you're reading and ponder on it and realize things, because a lot of that stuff's metaphors in there, you know? Oh, and another thing, 
the book of Psalms. Isn't that a book of spells? Come on, you guys. Let's let's start, you know. <sighs> I don't know how to say. It's so mixed up and everybody's trying to be number one. But you know what? There's only one number one. And I pray to that number one all the time. There ain't no one else. There is a teacher, somebody who taught me that, yes, you should pray to number one. Yes, you should be kind and giving, forgiving. Don't lie, don't cheat, don't steal, don't do on any bad stuff. Be kind, teach people good, all that. The teacher, the teacher knew what he was talking about, but a lot of people have taken it in the wrong way, I think. Adding in all those miracles that today people would consider magic and evil because people got to do those things to try to convince a person because if they don't have no proof, like if it's just a guy walking around saying, look, you can do this, you can do that, it's good for you. It's better for you. Why not just believe this person? Because he's right. He's talking common sense. You know what I'm saying? But they got to throw in all this other magic key or miracle stuff to scare the people into believing. But you don't need to be scared into believing. Think about it. Like, I, I don't really know how to convince. I'm just telling how I feel about it and the things that I've discovered through my own studies, you know. And that's just me. And you know what? I'm not mad at anyone who disagrees because God doesn't want you to be, like, jealous or ego or hateful or fight with anybody. No. We, need, we are all supposed to get along, really. That's how it's supposed to be. We're all supposed to get along. We're all supposed to be good to each other. We're all supposed to help each other. But we're so separated that it's just not, you know, it's sad. It's very sad. But, you know, like, I, I'm not, I, I'm not trying to fight with anybody. I'm just trying to find the truth. And the truth is out there. People just don't want to look for it because they're afraid of what they're going to find. You know, I'm not. For what? Be afraid of what? I'm not afraid of nothing. When it's my time to go, it's my time to go. And that's it and that's all. I'm afraid of Mother Nature, though, for sure. Don't piss off Mother Nature. She will come in with a fury. <laughs> I do believe that. Because no one can control Mother Nature. When it happens, it happens. Devastation, flood, rain, all that. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. It's going to happen, and it happens. That's what I'm afraid of. Natural disasters. But when it comes to anything else, you know, when it's my time to go, it's my time to go, and that's it, and that's all. So just spend your time, what you have here on earth, helping others, you know, lifting them up. Speak nicely to them. Help them if you can. Don't say mean things to them or about them behind their backs. You know, anybody also who, who contributes to the slander of another person, you are in that category. Mm. Well, I just heard them talking, but I didn't say it. Well, you heard them talking. You contributed to it, so you're part of that group. And how many people know other religious people who t talk smack about other religions and other people? That's slander. So all you people out there who are saying things about other religions and talking smack without any concrete proof or even doing any studying yourself, you're part of that slander, so you're part of that negative derogatory group. The witchcraft group, <laughs> right? The dark ones. You're not part of the light. You're part of the dark. So anyways, that's all I have. It was just something to think about. Because I couldn't help myself. <laughs> but yeah, you know. I'm Mona. This is another chit chat. And I'll talk to you guys next time.